Dylan shouting and Tony Belly playing games. They may repeat themselves. But you know what? You know what won't repeat itself? You know what? This time David's going to win. <laughs> this time he will, because you know it as well. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. You can kid yourselves all you like. Play your little games. All shout at me. Well, that's good. You're wrong. You're wrong, guys. On Saturday night, you'll see. <laughs> We like that, Adam getting fiery, we like that. Adam Morley, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring him up, promoter Eddie Hearn. Yes, Liverpool. I wish you could come every week, it's the only chance I've got of getting cheered. I don't know what all that was about, but let's talk some truth, let's talk some sense. Yeah. And what I say is this, this man has got a set of bollocks on him. And I've never seen him so confident before. And I know David's in great shape this time around. Whether he was last time or not, we think he was. But I'll tell you one thing now, I have absolutely no doubt that your boy is gonna win this fight on Saturday night. I see a different David Hay this time around. I remember we made an infamous fight, it was a real war, you might have remembered it, it's called Hay Harrison, a few years ago. And I remember seeing David Hay and I thought, Jesus Christ, we've got absolutely no chance. That was on the ring wall. But I don't see the same energy, I don't see the same confidence, I'm not sure I see the same look in his eye. The suits aren't as good either. But we know we have a real fight on our hands this Saturday night at the O2 Arena. We've got a great undercard. We've got Paul Butler from up the road changing for a world title. We've got John Ryder against Jamie Cox. We've got Martin Ward against James Tennyson. We've got Big Joe Joyce in his big first title fight against Lemroy Thomas. We've got Joshua Boatsy. But most of all, <laughs> he's not my fighter, I'm fine with that, you know. But most of all, we have a brilliant rematch where this boy will give every heart, every inch of his heart, every inch of his soul for you, for him, for his family on Saturday night. And I promise you, he will not let you down. So let's hear it for your boy. It's not coming up now, but I want a round of applause from anyway. Liverpool's own Tony Bellion. <laughs> Elite fighters need elite trainers, and we've got two of them up here. First of all, let's give him a warm welcome. He's a legend of the sport. He's been brilliant in steering Jorge Linares through to the very top recently. He's a wonderful, wonderful man and trainer. Give him a big welcome from Liverpool. I know you will. Ishmael Salas. Hello, guys. Every, everyone. Hello. Very lovely. Very nice. <laughs> Anyway, I'd like to say to everyone, uh, we've, been work, we've been working to give the best of, for you guys. You deserve to have a very great fight. We have two contenders uh, here working so hard to bring the best of each guy, the nine. We have uh, Debbie Hayes, the one I handle it now, uh, been working so hard for this fight. For him, it's a, like a turning point. Everybody knows that. Um, he's so dedicated. He put all himself during the training, uh, hard training. Everybody knows how hard. Yes, and thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, we will bring the best of David Hay. Please, wait and watch. Thank you so much. Thank you. This young man to my right has done pretty much everything in boxing, fighter, manager, great pundit as well, great guy. He's become a really good trainer as well, leading the McDonald twins, Anthony Fowler, your own, he's with of course, and what success he's had with Tony Belly. Please welcome Dave Colwell.
Thanks for that. Cheers. I was expecting that. I was a little bit worried when he was telling Adam about his eye, giving him some stick. I thought, well, I've got to get up here first. <laughs> Bottom line, you're all here. You're all going to be watching on Saturday night for a great fight. You've got two fighters here that have both got great personalities, great characters, and they both want this fight. The difference is, I know Tony Bellew, I know what this fight means to him. It's not just, it's not just about David Ayer, it's about Tony Bellew. It's about what he wants to achieve in this sport. It doesn't matter who's in front of him on Saturday night. Yes, we know that David Ayer has got a reputation for being fast, sharp, fantastic. He was a fantastic fighter. But I'll say what I said in the first fight. He was a fantastic fighter, and now he's a fantastic former fighter that was, he's trying to catch what he used to have. And he's got a fantastic coach in, in Ismail Salas. You know, I've, I've, I've got nothing but respect for you. Um, but the bottom line is, you've, you've had 19, 20 world champions. You're a fantastic coach. And I know the work you love putting with him. And David, looking at his Instagram uh, videos and photos, in fantastic shape. Tell me a fight when he doesn't look in fantastic shape. He's always in fantastic shape. The difference is, he's fighting Tony Bellew. And the bottom line is, it doesn't matter about me, it doesn't matter about Matty Smell Sellers. When that bell goes, <laughs> as this point where we are right now, I've got the better fighter. Tony Bellew wins. Repeat. <laughs> Okay, let's bring him up. One of the most exciting cruiserweight heavyweights of the last 10, 15 years. Enigmatic, charismatic, and he's coming for revenge. You gave him a great welcome last time. Come on, do it again. David Hay. Welcome Liverpool, thanks for coming out. Um, last, last time round, I was a bit angry. Last time round, I was a bit angry. This time round, not so much. I've uh, trained very hard. Um, I didn't believe Tony Bellew had what it took to beat me on my worst night. I was terribly wrong. He raised his game way more than I'd ever seen in any of his prior fights, and I expect exactly the same thing again on Saturday night. I expect you look, even looking in his eyes, looking at his face, he's, he looks trimmer, he looks fitter, he looks leaner. He, he looks I am. more. I can feel it. I can, I can see it. I can, look, I, am. I can look in your face and see it. I know I can see it in your suit. Yeah. Exactly. We're both, we're, we're, both, we're both going to be better versions. Are you going to tell them all to bet on me again? Are you going to tell them all to bet on me again? I'm going to tell you guys not if you really believe in Tony Bellew, if you really believe in Tony Bellew, go out must, there and put all your money on. Knowing what I know is going to happen on Saturday, it would be a bit mean for me to say that. So I'd say if you want to make some money, make the money back, bet on me this time. Make the money back? He made a fortune betting me to knock you out. Make you, that's where he made the money. We uh, don't need one. to make nothing back. The winners, we all won that night. This whole city won that night. But this whole city went into a bookies and done what they done. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about on that front row, but I'll leave you to it. So as I was saying, I know we're both going to be a better version than we were than the last fight. And the last fight was a cracker. Everybody had a good time. Everyone enjoyed it, apart from me. Um, and I'm going to say, I'm going to do what I tried to do last time and failed miserably. And you guys are going to, unfortunately, see the end of Tony Benny. My, uh, my speed time is back. I'm faster, sharper. Just like last time. We're back. Just like last time. I'll make a 2.0. It's 10.0 this time. 
Ten point nine. Must be twenty five point six. Sixty two point nine. More comebacks than fucking Bruce John McLean. I have, and this time is when it all uh, cl this time is when it all clicks together. I'm feeling good, and uh, make sure everybody tunes into this fight. Tune in. It's going to be very very fun, very explosive from the very first round. So um, I love you all, and uh, enjoy your evening. Peace out. It's been a great story, hasn't it, for the man to my right. He won the World Cruiserweight title. He got to perform at his beloved Goodison Park. He started a Rocky film, and then he did something that very few thought he could do, and that was stop David Hay in that dramatic fight almost 14 months ago. Can he do it again? He says yes. He says repeat. He is your own Tony Bellew. First of all, I'd just like to say thanks. I mean, I can't believe you've all come down here from where, wherever you've come from, but thank you very much. I appreciate the support. It's brilliant. We're Scousers, and that's what we do. We support our own. Thank you very much, lad. Thank you. First of all, I'd just like to thank Will out of the in-betweeners for uh, giving me more motivation. <laughs> <laughs> Silly boy. You know, calm down, Will. Uh, it, it's, it's been a great camp, and it's been, it's been fantastic. It really has. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I've worked hard. I'm, I'm getting wrote off again, you know. I'm supposed to get knocked out, and I, I kind of anticipated what David to get up here and say. He, he got up here. <laughs> I'm, glad I've, I'm robbing the bank, but I don't have to put a bally on this time. Uh, David was amazed that I took the rematch. I knew he was by, by just the fact that I turned up and done it. So. I'm doing it. I'm going to do exactly what I've done in the first fight. You're going to miss. And you're going to miss by miles. So, uh, expect a cagey start. David will, will show me the respect that he should have shown in the first fight. I'm pretty sure Ishmael has watched me an awful lot. He's a fantastic coach. He's trained many world champions. Uh, I'm amazed that Jorge is not still with you. An amazing fighter in a truly amazing fight. So, I'm kind of gutted for Jorge because he was progressing at an even better rate under your tuition so it's a shame that Jorge Linares is not under your tuition no more but he still doesn't detract any you're an amazing coach and an amazing career as has David Hay but on Saturday mate it comes to an end it really does and for the first time in your whole career you are actually fighting for your career not even injury saves you this time David for the first time in your whole career, you're going to walk the ring and think, if this goes wrong, nothing can save me. And, and let's, let's not mix it up. I've done this five, six times. And I know the pressure that brings to you. I know the kind of atmosphere that can generate. And you're in a lot of trouble Saturday, mate. You really are. I don't need to... I, before the last fight, I never needed to hate David. I never needed... He's got this belief I was trying to wind him up. I wasn't. I just told him a few home truths. The fact of the matter is, David isn't back to win world titles. David is the man who's back to rob the bank. And he's trying to do it with as little risk as possible. And the mistake that he made is, he picked this little fat cruiserweight scouser with a mouth to try and make that against because he thought it was an easy fight. If David was really back for world titles, he would have just got on the phone to Al Heyman and his advisors and made the fight with Deontay Wilder. But the sad fact of it all is, David wants to fight crabs and little fatties. And the bad thing is, I fall into that category of little fatty. I can accept it. Like I said, I'm a realist. I'm not a fantasist. David is living in fantasy land if he believes he can become undisputed every champion of the world. Because on Saturday night, David gets his ass smacked and put back in his box. And that's how it's going down. Saturday night, tune in for a great fight. Thank you all so, so much. I love everyone here. Thank you. I really, really mean that I do. But Saturday night, guys, we're time to go to war. And your career, my son, ends in a beat. Thank you.
Okay, guys, it's your press conference, your fan rally, so let's get some questions in from you. We're going to get a couple of mics around. Put your hands up if you've got questions for David, for Tony, all the coaches, or Eddie, or Adam, whoever you want to speak to. Just keep it clean if we can. We've got a lot of cameras out there, so keep the language clean, but ask whatever you want to ask. Even though he wasn't respectful to all you guys last time, Laban, all those retards, scousers, scumbags, whatever, just show this gobshite a little bit of decorum, or that we listen, we're good people. From up here, mate, we're good people and we're honest people, unlike the lion scum that he is. So that's just showing that people. Okay, the mic's heading round. Mike, have you got on there? Okay. That's it. Right, sensible questions only, please, lads. <laughs> uh, this one's for the bomber belly. All I want to say is, once one of us goes to war, we all go to war. We're all behind you, big fella, and you can fucking do this. Let's have it! Thank you very much, mate. Thank you very much. <laughs> Evening, fellas. <laughs> David, if you were to beat, if you were to beat Tony Saturday night, what would happen? If you won a piece, would you go for the, a third one? Say again, sorry. <laughs> he said if you was to win on Saturday night, which isn't going to happen, would you go for the third one? Well, that's not going to happen either, mate. David loses Saturday night, but I don't know. He can answer the question it was to him. Yeah. He's, like, he's, he's answered your question for you there. Eddie, uh, what happens with Tony when he sparks David Hay out on Saturday? What's next? We have a gigantic party. That's what we do, and the whole of Liverpool celebrates. But to be honest, this this fight is is not about what happens after. This fight is about Saturday night. I know what it means to Tony Bellew. I believe he'll go on. I believe he will continue to fight after this fight. But he needs to put this to bed. He needs to put David to rest on Saturday night because I don't feel he got the credit that he deserves from the first fight. Now we've got this guy in front of him who says he's fitter, faster, better, stronger than ever before. So I just hope that when he wins on Saturday night, he gets the credit he deserves. This is a question for Tony Bellew. How long is it going to take to knock David's head off his shoulders? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, mate. I don't know. Hopefully about 20 seconds if, if, uh, if it goes to the way I wish it could go. But I'm not sure, mate. It's a very, very dangerous fight I'm facing. Possibly the most dangerous four-round fighter in the whole world, pound for pound. He's literally he's that dangerous, he really is, so well, let's just see how it goes. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's another side to that coin. I can chin him just like he can chin me, and a lot of people out there will say, oh, well, you couldn't do it, he's on one leg and all that. Listen, mate, whether he was whatever he was or whatever you said about one leg, he was swinging punches to the finish. And don't get me wrong, they were closer to the lights than they were to me, but ultimately, <laughs> he was swinging punches. I even offered the man to touch gloves, I can't remember what round it was in, and the guy didn't choose to touch me but he chose to swing a punch well he did make you spot on but he chose to swing that punch right from the head so that's the mark of the man that's how desperate he's become but a wounded and a desperate animal is a very very dangerous animal so you know make no mistake we're in with a very very dangerous heavyweight on saturday night i've got a question for david hey um let's say the fight doesn't go your way on saturday What's, what's, what, what are you going to do after after your career is over? And are you going to go back and swam a celebrity get me out of here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I still lose. Uh, I wouldn't go back into I'm a celebrity. I did that once. It was fun. I enjoyed it, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> Hello? Question for David. David, um, the last fight, obviously, the injury, um, the leg, that was that was pretty nasty for you. But the way the bomber came out and the way the bomber controlled those early rounds, obviously, it's been discussed over um, a few different videos that are on YouTube, and, and certain people had different opinions. But we all had we all had him up three two by the fifth round. Were you surprised by the way that Tony came out and the way that he attacked that last fight? Um, uh, your scorecard three two to him. Was and didn't reflect the three judges' scorecards, which are the only ones that matters. He won the first round, I won two, three, four, and five, and he won everything from six onwards. That's the official score, it's not my opinion, not what I think, not what you guys think, it's what the actual scores were. 
<coughs> so, um, and what's the rest of the question, would you ask? I was, yeah, I was surprised at how slick he was. His defence was very good. His uh, movement, I hadn't really seen too much of that um, prior, maybe because I hadn't really watched him any of his fights. That might have had something to do with it. Um, I didn't think he could do the things he did. And uh, I, was, I was impressed. Not at the time, I was pretty frustrated, to be honest. But um, yeah, his, his defence was way better than I gave him credit for going into the ring. I thought I literally just had to walk across the room, hit him in the head, and I was <coughs> very, very wrong. And he beat me. Am I not the worst world champion in the world anymore, then? Clearly not, you beat oh, me. Thanks, mate. you damn made up with that. I can, I'll sleep well tonight. You've, you've proved me wrong. No, it's not about proof. I'm just saying, you just said I was the worst world champion that's ever lived. And that, was, that was before you beat me. I know, I'm just saying. I just can't believe how the quick, the drastic turnaround is coming. You know, it's, it's amazing. Thank you All right, much. boys, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Tony, a little question to you, my mate. Look, I don't really want to talk about this fella. But I'm curious about another fighter. Yeah. If a, a certain other fighter from Canada, Adonna Stevenson, was to step up to cruiserweight at some point, would you chase that rematch? Oh, mate, I'd love to. I'd, uh, I really, really would. But I was beaten by the better man on the night, and I don't really make many excuses, you know. When yeah, I a lot of that, it. though, is the, you, it was the weight thing as well. Yeah, you know? I know. Everyone will say that. But listen, I, I'd rather just say I lost to the better man on the night. But I would love the opportunity to face him at cruiserweight. Uh, I'm the WBC Emeritus Champion and I can call upon my shot at the, at the WBC main belt at any time I choose. I think you could beat him. Thank you very much. I think I could chin him as well, but uh, it didn't work out that first time, mate. He got me first, well, but listen, that's boxing. Yeah. Thank Not you very much, much, though. Last couple, guys. Question for David, you were saying the exact same things before the first fight and you got smashed by Tony. How have you actually changed for the second fight? Um, I believe I'm in better physical condition. I've done... Um... Huh? What was that? You are fat. I love my Yeah, I'm in, I'm in better physical condition, uh, mentally, physically, in, uh, in every aspect, I believe. And uh, you'll see different so uh, this time I won't get smashed as you said David just a question I mean how could you possibly be in better shape because build up to the last fight you said you was in the, the, the best you've ever felt maybe your exact words in the press conference the last time so well, I don't I'm better than that now I don't understand you how be better how You'll see. You'll see. I don't want to tell you exactly how it is. I'd like to surprise you. Oh, thank you. But I'm not. It'd be nice. It would be a nice surprise for you. It just. I mean, it, uh, last time it was such a. You know. <laughs> you know the miracle power that I don't know what it is. But you know what? Uh, how do you? How do you go from your best ever camp? I mean, listen. I'm not going to sit here and say it hasn't been my best ever camp. I've had camps that are better. But then I've had my worst ever camp and I've been crazy as a result. I'm just. I'm just confused. I'm. I'm a. How does? Your best ever camp, then just get better again. I, I don't understand that. I mean, if you could explain it to me in, in yeah, layman's terms. Have to, look, if this drink is the best one I've had today, tomorrow I can have another one, it'd be better. That's it. Sometimes things get better sometimes. And if this one is better than the last it's one. It's the same drink, it doesn't get better, mate. It has to be different. It tastes better to me. It's the same drink, you can't, you're the same person. You was the same person on March the 40th, the same person now. So you just, just if anything, you know, you'll see how much better. You'll, but I'm just saying, you, 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 you can tell me afterwards when you think it's I'm better. I'm just saying, mate, you know, it's like me saying, like, this drink's the best and this one's even better. It's, it's crazy, mate, it's the same drink. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the same man, you, you're not. I mean, what the fuck have you done? Jumped out of one body and jumped in another. You're the same 38 year old David A, mate. I'm sorry, but I'm just letting you know what you know. Oh, sorry, 37, you know. I mean, you look I, 40, I, 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 but, you know, ah, man, that's not me, just, I'm just saying, I can't understand how this is yeah. this. So, man, I'm just asking a question, I mean, facts. Just asking, <laughs> what is it, facts, facts, it's not really, it's not me, no, what well, I'm just saying, I mean, if you can't answer the question, don't worry, but it's like the same question I asked you on Gloves It Off, about if you genuinely really want to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world, and you, you couldn't answer me then, if you're not interested in heavyweight championships, David, you're the one who accused me of robbing the bank, but in reality, you're the you're the brother robbing the bank, so you know. It's, I just wish I just wish you'd answer the questions. I mean, I'm trying my best here, but like I say, it's not working. But you know, if you don't want to answer the questions, no problem. Okay, final prediction time. Let's uh, let's get a last line from Ishmael Salas about how he thinks the fight's going to go. Okay, guys, uh, 
as Tony Bellio said, uh, we have a one day behave the best four rounder in the world. Okay, yeah, that's good. But I, I like don't just think he's. I just think that's our. Yes, state very good, very state. good of you. Let, let me let me say sorry what apologies. you say. You speak out now. It's my time. Oh, sorry. Apologies. Anyway, you listen up. We <laughs> have. Oh, yeah. oh, Si you have a little respect yourself, you have a little respect yourself. Sorry, just shut up. So you you, you have the Mr. Davy head four rounder, very good of you. But don't forget, now we have the best physical trainer who put Davy head with the four more round. And you have one in my Sala, he will put the another four round. So for you will be baby 12 round. Make sure I lost, I lost, I lost. Was it fourth round, eighth round, or another four round? Ah, I'm sorry, mate. I so three for four is 12, baby. Thank you, boss. Let's Thank see you can hold it. Wax on, wax off. Yep. Okay. Dave Colwell. How do I follow that? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something. Tony Bellew was. I think. I think. I don't know if it was David or somebody said that Tony Bellew was brilliant at getting people under people's skin. Jesus, you have been the coolest man at these tables all the way through. Tony Bellew's gotten on the coach's skin. Sooner or later. Yeah. Sooner or later. You, you must have, must have got that. We just got it. We just got it. Yeah. Just got it. Trying, Ishmael. I wasn't trying. Exactly. He's a fat. He's a fat. Don't worry. I'm mean, a coach, man. I've given him that I've given him any more blood than I can. I'm not going to insult me and say things like that. Then I'm just going to ask him to wax on, wax off. It's not my problem. I ain't done much wrong. He's still an amazing coach. Very good entertainer. Thank you. The bottom line, right, 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 said, right, said, right to do your thing on, on Saturday, baby. It will do. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. It will do. So all, all, all the good will be for all of you guys. Just to inform you, this male, this fat kid always turns up. Yep. Always. Yep. And, and, and wait always. for it, baby. Wait for it, baby. Have you done? Can I? I mean. Cool. I haven't really got a lot to say. All I'm going to say is repeat. David, will it be revenge? If so, how? The feeling you guys don't like me. I'm really getting that vibe. But anyway, how it's good? How um, I will get my revenge? It'll be with speed, timing, accuracy, conditioning. It may not be early. It may be late. Not it, may, it may be very late. Really? I, I, may be do, I may be aiming to do something I've never done before. Normally, I've always aimed to take people out early. But I might do something different this time. I'm not going to get drilled to the floor I, I might, with I might, them. I might, I, might, I, might, I might try something different. It might be very, very interesting. So uh, make, sure you tune in. new make sure you tune in. Make sure you tune in. Saturday night, Skybox office. Do not miss it. Because it's going to be pretty epic. Thank you very much. David, finally, will you knock Tony Bellew out? It will either be a knockout, TKO, referee stop it, towel come in, but he will not hear the final bell. The no towels bell, coming in, no way, lad. The the final final when you're from round here, we, we, nah, that doesn't go down like that, mate. Okay. Ain't no one throwing no towels, right. so believe you me, mate, you better get Dave Cobble's a compassionate man. I ain't no compassionate man. I ain't no compassionate man. He said the same thing. He's looking after his boys, so I'm just saying. Yeah, Dave Cobble's a passionate man. Listen, if you remember last time, it was I'm going to hospital last time. I ain't going fucking nowhere. I'm right here, mate. I'll be right with you on the night. You mark my words, mate. You're the boy who threw the towel. You threw the towel last time, not me. I didn't throw the towel. No, no. Your, your man saved. The compassion came from your side last time, yeah, not mine. It came from my side. There you go. And it's going to come from your side again. I, I doubt that. I very much doubt that. Tony, rematches through history often go the same way. Sometimes they don't. How's this one going to unfold? You usually find in a, in a in boxing, and, and I've, I've forgot more than David knows about boxing, actual records and fighters and stuff like that. It's just I've got a sad obsession with this crazy circus I'm involved in. But 
very rarely the rematches live up to their expectation. It's gone over and over down the years, you know. Morales, Pereira, one was never as good. The other two was never as good. Gatti Ward won. The other two were nowhere near the level as good. So this one, in my opinion, is a little bit different. Yes, the injury played the part. If anything, it saved David Hay from just getting absolutely knocked cold. That's what it's actually saved him from. Because a fighter who's fighting back and looking for KOs is much easier to knock out than a man who's just sitting on ropes looking to defend and looking for the odd pot shot. So you will see on May the 5th, a tentative start, David will want to play a game of chess. I know, I know what he's going to do before he's even doing it. So he will look to come out, be tentative, use his jab, take centre stage. But ultimately, a couple of rounds go by, you start sweating, things get hot, gets hard. As soon as it starts to get hard, David will revert to type. That is his nature. Every other fighter in the world is exactly the same. When he reverts to type, he will then give me the opportunities that I need. And David Hay will get stopped on May the 5th quicker than he did on March the 4th. It's as simple as that. It's been fun, hasn't it? Let's bring them together for the final time here in Liverpool.